most people consider www.example.com and example.com to be the same domain name. What most people don't realise is that an address with a www at the start is not the same as an address without one. This is why you'll sometimes type an address into your browser and get the this page doesn't exist error. But if you add or remove the www, the page suddenly springs back into existence. In this lesson, we look at URL canonicalization, basically to www or not to www. Well, what's the difference? A lot of the time, a web server will be configured so that it really doesn't matter what someone types in. They'll still get there. So it's not usually such a problem for type in traffic. But when it comes to the search engines, there's no such luck. They see the two addresses as different, and this can cause problems for website owners using search engine optimization on their websites. Well, what sort of problems? Imagine that you've got yourself a couple of big, juicy backlinks. Imagine they're from sites with a page rank of 7, and they are .edu, and they are .edu sites to boot. They're relevant to your topic. They're linking to you using your keywords. It's fantastic. But now imagine that one is linking to www.yoursite.com and the other is just linking simply to yoursite.com. Instead of getting a double whammy of page rank from these two awesome sites, you're actually only getting half. Half the juice goes to the www address and the other half goes to the non www address. Imagine that this is happening for all of your links. Some are going to www and some are going to non www. The search engines will only display one version of your site in the search listings. So it's not like you have two chances to win. You're actually losing the benefit of half your links. So what's the fix? Well, there are a couple of things you can do to ensure that all your link love is being funneled into the right place. Pick a version of your address and stick with it. The best way to choose www or non www is to type each page into your browser in turn and see which one has the highest page rank. This is an indicator of the number and strength of backlinks to that version of your page. You can also use a tool like Traffic Travis to check the number and quality of backlinks to each version of your domain. If you've got a brand new domain, or if both versions of your site are ranking pretty much the same, then just pick whichever version you like the best. Then make sure you stick with it, and try to get your link partners to stick with it as well. Set your preferred address in Google's Webmaster Tools. Google lets you designate your preferred address in their Webmaster Tools site. If you haven't signed up for a Webmaster Tools account, you should probably do so. There's a few other useful tools in there that will come in handy eventually. Do a 301 redirect, moved permanently, in your .ht access file. Copy the following snippet of text into your .ht access file. And time for today's lesson summary. In this lesson, we took a look at how to stop losing page rank from a non-canonicalized domain name. Three methods we looked at to reduce or even fix the issue were pick a version of your address and stick with it, set your preferred address in Google Webmaster Tools, and use a rewrite rule in your .ht access file. Anyway, that's all we've got time for today. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.